Why leaks occur based on aspects of building construction. We are going to discuss two types of construction methods. One, timber frame or lightweight construction, and two, concrete. In the time installing clear waterproof membrane, you will come across both kinds of construction and variations. One, timber frame construction. This could also be any type of construction that is not solid piece, i.e. steel frame or beam and block, etc. The most popular repair application is going to be timber framed residential homes. These homes are built to move without cracking. Similar to your bones, they are rigid but flexible. To give you an illustration as to why these sections are doomed to fail, your bones are rigid but flexible, much like a timber frame. Now imagine your skin was rigid. How long do you think you'd be able to walk before, before doing damage? That's right, you would be immediately in trouble because your skin needs to be flexible to stay intact when your bones move. This is essentially what is taking place in an exaggerated setting when we put a rigid structure on top of the flexible one. Your balcony and shower are rigid platforms on top of a flexible frame. It is only time, and sometimes not much of it, until the rigid platform cracks, which is what happens with balconies or when walls separate, which is what happens with showers. Class 3 Membranes Class 3 membranes are usually used on balconies and held up as the best easily available waterproof membrane for the application. If that was true, why are there so many failures? Waterproofing membranes are tested between two clamps with a section in between, let's say 2mm. When a clamp separates, the section in between the clamp should extend out to 6mm and come back, providing a 300% elongation, achieving a class 3 membrane status. The real life application for this are limited and would be reflective of when the membrane is installed in the junctions of the floor with a bond breaker, where the membrane is not in contact with the substrate continuously. This does not depict a timber frame balcony, which is going to receive continuous movement over the entire floor and has the waterproofing directly bonded to the substrate, where cracks open up from nothing. What is 300 times 0 mil? It's zero, which is why failures on timber framed balconies are so prevalent and will most likely be the majority of what you repair. Although how we waterproof is really important, we must consider how we build based on current standards. The movement being seen on balconies that are on timber frames is significant. In areas other than just the junctions, which is why we're seeing class three waterproofing membranes routinely fail. Knowing that we're going to expect failures, it does not make sense to install the membrane in the middle of the construction configuration. That is not accessible for repair, making it costly for the homeowner to repair water damage caused by failed membranes.